It's interesting uh, what I've heard in the last couple of minutes, Alti, and I want to bring two or three things together. One is um, we've come across you talking quite sort of deliberately about how you were independent, found your own things to do. And when you were starting your career, nobody had time, right? So you had to sort of get your hands dirty and get on with it and shape your own learning and career. Uh, you also are very invested in women becoming financially savvy. And we've read about, you know, the initiatives you've launched towards that front as well. Um, and the third reality of the market forces remain that we need to enable and support women for them to continue through their career, right? Because yeah. they face more challenges typically. So I'm curious to sort of bring all of these parts together in our conversation, which is on the one hand, we want, and, and I'm with you, I want people to take ownership of their career and development, right? But on the other hand, women need more support. So how have you thought about sort of balancing these two? Um. So I am not, I focus much on women's financial independence. Yes. Once you have a career, mm -hmm. once you have a salary, mm -hmm. you should be investing it on your, on your own mm -hmm. and not depending on your husband's or your brother's and or if you have an inheritance, which is yours. So, so that is much more my focus than to talk about sort of women in their careers because mm -hmm. I feel I had a different path. Mm -hmm. And yet the only thing I will say in seeing people is for women, I feel few things. One is, um, women need to look at this as a career, not as a job. Yeah. And many times women who come into the corporate world look at it as a quick job when they're young, before they're married or before they have a child or something. Yeah. And that's not, that's not good for the firm and it's not good for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, because people are investing time to train you. Yeah. Um, and, and I think it's very important that you distinguish the two. I'm very proud of the women who can manage with children, come to work. Um, and, uh, you know, there is obviously something they're giving up for that. At yeah. the same time, I think, and I told my school teacher this when I went back to school, or my principal, I said, if you expect mothers to come to work, uh, to school, to do all your projects for you and to be present all the time with the children, yeah, why do you bother educating us? 